The Grand Power LP9M is not only a Makarov chambered pistol produced in the 21st century, but we've got a rail, we've got ambidextrous controls, and a 5-inch barrel. This could greatly change the way we see 9x18. Coming up, you'll see absolute first shots, cold impressions. We'll be full magazine plus one, see how it runs. We have a very limited what's for dinner, but I'm gonna chronograph it because I'm curious what we get out of a five inch. Does that change the value that nine by 18 serves? We've got the spinner and of course grouping before concluding thoughts. All that coming up next on GB Guns. Got our target camera set up and a C-zone piece of steel out there about 20, 25 yards or so. Sorry, I forgot my paint, so you're just gonna have to deal with some dirty steel. Before I get into the Grand Power, I wanted to shoot a regular Makarov. Got the 94 grain zinc plated steel case Silver Bear stuff. Uh, don't think you can get this anymore, but it's what I have some of. And uh, let me know in the comment section if this is what you know of for Makarov. Got it decocked for that double action first shot, eight rounds. I just want to shoot this so I've got a baseline to compare against because really how many other Makarov pistols are out there? So let's see how this does, about 20 yards on that steel. Itty bitty front sight post and I missed all over the place. Trigger didn't feel like it reset. Looks like I'm missing high and right. There we go. Maybe. It's a very warm day out, so I am sweaty and this gun is slippery in my hands. A little bit of jarring happening on the thumb knuckle. Uh, a little bit of bite under my pinky from the tab of the uh, magazine. Not a pleasant shooting experience and felt like there was more recoil than there should have been for the caliber. So let's put it in something with some actual ergonomics and the Mark 23 back straps. No decocker on this model, just a thumb safety. And let's see how the same ammunition feels through the ground power. Oh, that's soft. <laughs> it, um, it feels like a 380 but I can get my whole hand on the gun. That's, that's the difference I was hoping this gun was gonna make, but it's just the beginning, not fair to pass judgments yet, but wow, what a difference. Um, my hand doesn't hurt. It still has a little bit of shock from the uh, blowback, but not, not much. And as you guys saw, this blowback action is a little bit different. Um, the barrel does unlock in the end, so I'm really curious. Uh, now on the full mag plus one, these are 93 grain from PPU. Whether or not we'll be able to get PPU ammo in the future, let's hope. Um, as of the, of the day I'm filming this, Serbia has announced they're gonna cease exports for their own defense concerns. I was able to fit 13 rounds in the magazine, and when I did the tabletop, I was curious why, if these magazines are the same size as Grand Power's 15 round 9mm mags, do they only fit 13? No duh, 9 by 18 Makarov is actually a fatter bullet. It's a uh, hundredth of an inch bigger in diameter than 9mm is, so each round takes up more space. That's probably why 13 rounds. Let's see how this runs full mag plus one with some PPU 93 grain brass case. Interesting recoil impulse. It, uh, it's different. It's, it's kind of fun. It gives you a little jar, as it, like, like I said, but it's sort of stretched, uh, similar to if you've ever shot one of HK's roller lock design guns. Um, how, like say an HK-93, um, or PTR-91, HK-30, whatever, the, the 308 one. Um, it stretches that recoil impulse out. That's kind of what this feels like, but it's certainly, uh, certainly usable. Now on to what's for dinner. I've only got four loads. That's all it turns out I have in this caliber, largely because the two guns that I have 
chambered in 18 previous to this one were no fun to shoot so i didn't really didn't really want to spend a lot on ammo for them uh just got some bulk of the caliber so i'd have some on hand so with the four loads that i do have let's shoot through the chronograph um, as i group them and i'll calculate what kind of energy we're getting to see if this five inch really makes a difference um, and if that changes nine by 18. a lot of you are probably wondering why you'd want to care um i'm 18 of pseudo modern russian caliber yes it is younger than nine mil and younger than 308 or 380 but uh there aren't many american loads for it i use 9 by 18 and 762 by 25 tokarev during the ammo crunch this most recent one because i could still get my hands on it. it wasn't fun but it was a way i could keep shooting with this i've got a pistol that feels like looks like handles like same controls as my k100 that adds some diversity so i think it's got an application in the u.s market um, despite being a caliber that's not really popular here but anyways let's go find out what kind of energy we get out of this thing seven yards back target camera's going the chrono if you guys have watched this channel before you know my chrono decides what it wants to read i also realized that due to sun glare it might be difficult to see the numbers i'll call them out as i read them start off with uh, some 94 grain zinc plated silver bear oh i got that auto forward love that about grand powers <laughs> make sure it chambered it did all right Eleven forty one. Eleven twelve. Eleven forty two. Eleven seventeen. And eleven ten. Actually, pretty darn consistent. You guys should be seeing the number on the screen telling you. Uh, what the actual average, the energy, all that kind of stuff is. Now I'll move the chronograph, we'll move on to the next load. Is the PPU 93 grain, but it's brass cased. Ha, there it is. Sure still frame. Eleven forty six. 1123. Mm, nice uh, garage smell on this stuff. 1131. 1122. And 1092. Hot, uh, you guys ever spend any time around hot rods or old push rod V8s? And you know when you get a little bit of blow by or maybe a seal leaks and a little bit of oil burns that's kind of what that stuff smells like um great consistency and accuracy so far i've been raving about grand bowers barrels for eight years now people don't want to believe me but uh, i think we're seeing the evidence because have you ever seen a makarov shoot like that let me set it up for the last two rounds which are american Next up, Hornady Critical Defense. This will be kind of a test of, is it really viable? I did a video on 380 versus Makarov long ago. And uh, at the time, all I had was that old surplus gun. So interesting to see what this does. 95 grains. I back the camera out again, just so you guys can see. Yes, I really am at seven yards. These pistols just do magic things for me. Now let's see what happens. Ten fifty five. Ten fifty nine looks like. Ten sixty seven. Ten sixty nine. Ten seventy-two. You guys have seen the numbers. Curious what kind of energy this puts out. I'm feeling like it's probably going to be hotter than 380, less than nine millimeter, because that's what nine by eighteen is. Our last load 
is the Hornady Custom. Also 95 grain, but this is the XTP bullet. A long ways back, we did a bunch of 10 mil testing, 13 different loads through three different barrel lengths. And the XTP was the only stuff that really benefited from the longer barrel lengths. They all gained a little bit, but the XTP really took off. Let's see if they do that same thing in nine by 18. Ten forty four. Ten ninety six. Ten twenty nine. Ten ninety four. And 1068. All four loads when shot at that pace, very comfortable in this firearm. That's really, really doing what I hoped because I bought this with the patron dollars that uh, this gun was gonna change my opinion of Makarov. One more sort of test and that is to run it against the spinner. See what the energy looks like on steel. Our six inch Titan Great Outdoors spinner target. We're back about 13 yards. I'll give myself eight rounds of that PPU. I'm gonna stand next to the camera, but zoom you guys in so you can watch. Use this target because as I hit it, it starts to move. The more it moves, the more important and difficult timing a well-placed shot becomes. Hence it tests sights and trigger control. See how I can do it with the LP9M and this PPU brass cased ammo. What you saw there was a mix of easy to hit and not quite enough energy. <laughs> that target usually takes, I think the least we've ever done was four hits out of a long barreled nine mil to knock over the top. So we obviously have less energy. Of course, you guys have already seen the edits. You know what kind of energy comes out of this ammo before I do. But it runs like a grand power, handles like the guns that I've been shooting for years that I've reviewed. This is my 25th model in eight years of review. So if you're curious about these things and their rotating barrels, check our playlist. I also visited the factory twice. Um, I think this is gonna do what I hoped it would do. And that is serve as my backup, my alternative for nine millimeter and 380 when those calibers disappear. That said, the timing on this is kind of poor <laughs> for the US considering Russian ammo we're not seeing anymore, and Serbian ammo might be disappearing too. I don't know, hopefully I'm wrong, but the Ministry of Defense um, is at least stopping firearms exports from Serbia. So is that gonna cut off PBU? I don't know, is it gonna cut off Bellum, uh, some of the others? We don't know yet as of the date that I'm filming this video. That said, I'm sure when uh, one, where opportunity opens up, others jump in. We do know that Hornady makes ammunition in 9x18. Will there be affordable range ammo in 9x18? Remains yet to be seen. Um, if you've got a Makarov and you've got ammo for it, I suggest giving this a try. If you're curious about where to get the ammo or what Makarov ammo costs like, in the pinned comment um, will be the full review of this gun as well as where to get it and its pricing and the ammo used where to get it and its pricing. Um, that's as of the date of the article. I'm sorry, folks, I don't have the time to uh, continually update that stuff, nor do I have the tech savvy to create some line of script or code or whatever they call it to automatically update that stuff. I'm just a journalist. I'm not here to make money. I have a day job. That's why I'm here in the evening. Um, back to the gun. The trigger felt uh, a little more hesitant than it does on some of my other ground powers, but that may be break-in. It is a hammer-fired gun with a complex double-action, single-action uh, mechanism inside it, so it might require some break-in. I don't recall if the others did or not, but the handling is hands down, without question, the best I've ever felt in this caliber. Uh, the new Mark 23 backstraps, uh, and texturing on the frame definitely aids as well. 
normally here in Oregon, I'm not shooting in heat. If hands are wet, it's because of some light rain. Today, I'm a sweaty pig, as you can see on my hat, because it's hot out here. So my hands are sweaty and the pistol was not slippery, even with that rather abrupt blowback style recoil impulse, the thing stayed locked in my hands. Pretty cool. I want to thank Global Ordnance for importing these and making them available in the US, even though it's kind of a niche product. I fit that niche. I'm betting some of you do as well. Even though I got this thing after they, a little bit after they've been announced, it's still a relatively low serial number, like silly low, which means there may not be a whole lot of them or they may not be moving. I don't know. But if you're interested, I'd suggest grabbing one. I mean, who has ever had a gun not be a good investment that wasn't a Ruger? And even at that, the Ruger revolvers gain value. So, I mean, it's, <laughs> that's why I pick up all these guns. I have yet to have a loss on any of them if I ever sell any of them. But cool pistol, a cool caliber, great way to confuse folks. Remember, 9x18 is fatter than 9mm and 380, uh, shorter than 9mm, longer than 380. What that means for cross caliber capabilities, that's up to you guys your own research i'm sure there's lots of cold war stories however i don't think there were many cold war handgun fights um at least none that were reported <laughs> have a good one thanks for joining me